And somebody happened to be out here to just think I was talking to myself. Probably end up scaring them away. Chances are there's nobody back here. I hope not. Okay, the road is getting where the grass and the mud is just taking over the road. It used to be really wide and for probably maybe two cars to be on side by side pass, I don't know, but now it's just a little narrow towpath almost. This is really cool looking through here. It's like something on Lord of the Rings. One thing about me, I don't even really stop and just have to pee or eat something or drink or, just, you know, something, emergency, but I just keep on going, keep trucking. You don't want to mess around here. You want to get down here to your goal, turn around, and then come back. That's what I plan on to do today. To the highway show you all the end of it and then come back I'm starting to hear cars now sounds like maybe another mile maybe heck this this road could be five miles I'm not sure up and five miles back it's it's definitely a long road Well, the good part is, if I had to go on the highway, at least, at least I could go over there and get help down the highway. I'd have to to walk down there. The bad part is my truck is parked way back there, the other way. Well, maybe somebody would help me out. But once you start going back th that way, halfway, better make your mind up. Doesn't matter if knees are locking or your feet hurt, you better start going, booking it back home. Can't turn back. It's one of those things that's kind of a rush. It's the, you know, you're out, it's scary, you know, but. need to have someone with you most of the time if you do these things it's a lot safer I mean I know I got Smith and Wesson with me but just be better off to have an extra set of eyes and ears with you
another thing I forgot about rattlesnakes and copperheads all that nice stuff out here hear people talking down the valley there I'm getting close to the end of this road kind of keep my voice down be sneaky like a ninja yep I'm right by the highway now here down the hill getting a little bit tired it was like I've been walking four hallways compared like work it feels like about four of those hallways without stopping walking around it's good workout too here I like to be able to ride my bike I don't have a new mountain bike but I'm going to buy one here soon I feel like you have complete freedom out here I love the feeling of that Okay, we got a tree down, kind of. Man, it's a long road, long haul. I'd say this is easily a two to three hour walk up and back. Depends on how fast you walk. Let's see a path. See that? Be steep four wheeler path. I don't know where that goes down to the valley where those people are at. Heck, they might not be too friendly. Don't want to go down there for no reason. Alright, this is starting to get, I think this is about close to the end of it. It's another path. I don't ever remember those. But I haven't been here in years. Finally, we're at the end. Alright. It's another path. Finally, y'all, we're at the end. Now we can celebrate. Got to touch the fence. I hope there's no poison oak around. All right, see? Touch the fence. And that right there is 93 Highway. There's a cool house down there too.
all right guys if you enjoyed this video like and subscribe and remember smash the bell out